G'day guys, my name's Ollie, welcome to the channel. Um, so, as you can see on the screen, that's a picture of a telescope on a mount, and that is my Esprit 120 on my AZ EQ6, which is from about a week ago, when I was doing the Running Chicken Nebula. Now, that scope, the Esprit 120, um, the focuser tube with the camera on, it really does come back quite a long way. And I knew that there was a risk of it hitting my uh, tripod legs. And um, that's exactly what happened this night, actually. Um, not for very long, I got out there and I stopped it pretty quickly. But basically, I'd taken off the mount limits um, a few days before because I was having issues with Nina and when it hit the limit, it wouldn't resume and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, this is what happened. I'll show you Let's have a look at the video because it's pretty obvious. Watch that camera. Yeah, that's not heading in a good direction, is it? So basically, yeah, as you can see there, that camera's pretty close to the leg and it did hit the leg. So, um, this is what can happen sometimes, especially when you've got an object um, directly overhead and you've got a particularly long um, rig like I have here. So let's, um, let's take a look at the rig outside. Hey guys, just gonna show you. So this is basically what was happening that night that you can see on the time-lapse. Um, the scope was tracking down to here. So obviously the edge of the camera was just starting to hit the leg on the tripod. Obviously I came out and stopped everything and um, yeah, parked the, parked the scope. But um, yeah, you can see basically that's the need um, to set the mount limits when you've got as much extension you know, back from your scope, back from your scope as this. Um, but anyway, we'll have a look once I've got the, the little um, pier extender here on top of the on top of the uh, the tripod legs, and we'll see the difference that that makes. So that should mean that this is not really going to be a not really going to be an issue anymore. Okay, guys. Before I move on and look at the uh, tripod extender that I actually um, purchased for my mount, so I don't have to worry about these um, limits too much, um, I'm going to show you where to set the mount limits if it's something that you want to look at. Um, I think it's always worth doing, um, especially like I said, if you've got a long if you've got a long rig like mine. So here we are in EQ mod, just under the settings. If you expand to the right, you've got mount limits over here. If you click on configure this will pop up. Um, of course, you would need this ticked, enable the limits, so it's actually gonna be using the limits that you set here. Um, and basically all you're doing here is the green is showing you where the RA axis currently is at, and if, for example, I started moving the axes here, you'll see the green is moving with me, so that's telling you where it's at. So what you would normally be do here is you'd be sat next to your mount with your telescope, and you would be tilting your RA axes down and then you would be um, changing your deck axes as well and you'd be seeing how much the camera or the end of your scope was missing the tripod leg by and you would obviously set that to a comfortable amount. So for me, for example, it was about, you know, sort of that distance away from the, from the tripod leg. So if I just keep going down here, and the yellowed lines here represent where I've set my limits for the, um, for the Esprit 120. So of course the limits relate to the mount, not the scope, but when I have the Esprit 120, this is where I want my limits set to. So I just kept going here until I reached this point, looking at my mount, looking at where the scope was positioned, and then when you're happy that that's the limit that you want to set, you just click on the plus button and it will add the yellow line to say that's where you've set the limit. And of course then you just flip over to the other side with your mount, your RA axes, and you set the equivalent on the opposite side. And that's pretty much your mount limits set now. So if your mount was tracking inside real mode um, and it hits that limit, it will just stop and you will notice that there'll be, um, I think it's something like, I think it says limit reached in this boxes here where it says mount position, um, limit reached or yes, some words to that effect anyway, and it'll flash um, and it won't be tracking anymore. So that's how you can at least make sure that, um, that you know that your gear is gonna be safe and not run into your, 
not run into your mount or tripod legs whilst it's trekking. Okay, so I'm just gonna close this now. And let's also just have a quick look at Nina. Now Nina is the software that I use for my imaging. And I did find that there is a setting in Nina. So it's this setting here, which is pause before Meridian. Um, it's under options, under your imaging tab, under your Meridian flip settings. So it's pause before Meridian. And if you look at the information on that, which I'll just bring over onto the screen here, here we've got pause before Meridian. So it's how many minutes we want it to pause before the Meridian. For some setups, the equipment can touch the tripod or peer a while before passing the Meridian. This setting enables the mount to disable the tracking for the defined minutes prior to reaching the Meridian. Once this time and the defined minutes after the Meridian are passed, the flip will occur normally. So that is also, um, that's also another thing that you can look at. So you can basically stop you can stop the mount from tracking um, X, X minutes before the Meridian. All right, so now let's go and have a look at the actual tripod extender that I did get. guys so I have now added my little um, tripod extension and um, only um, it's a Skywatcher one only $109 um, Australian um, I could only get a white one unfortunately there's no black ones but that's okay um, and yeah that's added as you can see it's added a, a good good distance now between the tripod and the actual mount head and as you can see now it's solved solved that problem I'll still end up, um, you know, set my limits in um, EQ mod, but obviously now I can, I can um, be much more uh, flexible with them. Um, so yeah, so that's worked out well. Um, I've had to just sort out my cabling because of the way I've got my power set up, which has been a bit fiddly because I had it all sort of down here. But that's all good, and that's all figured out, and um, it solved that issue. So jobs are good and for now we just got to test it hey guys so thank you very much for watching as always I appreciate everybody who watches the channel and um, do leave me a comment if you've got anything um, to add um, or anything that I might have missed and um, I hope that's helped a little bit in terms of um, just where your mount limits are and how you can set them and um, yeah clear skies to everybody and um, I will see you on the next video